at real estate generally, you'll understand what the phenomena that's happening if you if you remind yourself that that's the attitude of most people that have uh, become big in the in, in the real estate. You know, um, I'm very bearish, by the way, on the housing market. I think that um, the numbers don't make sense. Will the housing market crash in 2024? Forbes advisor just released an eye-opening article, sparking a major conversation around the future of real estate. Since home prices are still very high and mortgage rates are more than twice what they were in 2020 and 2021, there has not been much activity in the housing market since the foreclosure crisis in 2010. But we know that, let's just say, close to 80% of the home buyers out there, um, they can't afford the mortgage payments now for the price of the home. What is your take on the U.S. housing market? And my take is you should try to sell all your real estate to those optimistic people. Today, we're going to answer this important question in more depth, using Warren Buffett's words as guidance. Buffett warns of a housing market tsunami that everyone is ignoring. Do not miss this if you are thinking about buying or selling a house or just want to know where the market is going. In this video, we'll dissect the current state of the housing market, explore the factors contributing to this potential downturn, and analyze what Warren Buffett's warnings could mean for your financial future. Plus, I'll share actionable advice on how you can prepare for the possible market shifts ahead. So, make sure to stick around until the end to provide yourself with the knowledge to deal with these uncertain times. Let's first go into something called the silver tsunami. Now, you might be wondering, what's that? Well, it's not about the ocean or surfing, but it's a wave that's about to hit the housing market hard. This wave is made up of baby boomers. Now, for a bit of context, the baby boomers are a huge portion of the population, born between 1946 and 1964. As for this group's ages, we're seeing a significant number of properties being put on the market. Why? Because as boomers move into retirement homes or unfortunately pass away, their homes are being sold or passed down to younger generations. It will, awfully, it will often involve a different set of owners. Yeah, and the buildings, the buildings don't go away, but... According to a study by Zillow, this could mean that over 20 million properties hitting the market by 2037. That's a lot of homes. But here's where it gets interesting. You might think, well, more homes for sale, that'll be great. It'll make housing more affordable for everyone, right? Well, not exactly. While it's true that an increase in supply typically leads to lower prices, the housing market is a bit more complex. For starters, the locations of these homes play a huge role. Many of these boomer-owned properties are in areas that might not be your first choice for younger home buyers, like suburban or rural locations. So, the impact on urban housing markets might be less than you'd expect. Moreover, the condition of these homes is another factor to consider. Many of these properties may require significant updates or renovations to meet the needs and tastes of younger buyers. This could mean additional costs that might not make these homes the bargains buyers are hoping for. And let's not forget about the financial side of things. The silver tsunami is happening at a time when interest rates are fluctuating. While they've been historically low, any increases could affect mortgage affordability, counteracting the potential price drops from increased supply. This dynamic interplay between supply, location, property condition, and financial costs makes the silver tsunami a phenomenon worth watching for anyone interested in the housing market. So, what's the takeaway here? If you're a potential home buyer, it's essential to look beyond the surface and consider all these factors. And if you're a homeowner or investor, understanding the broader trends can help you make more informed decisions. We'll talk more about this later in the video. The next thing we should talk about, though, is Warren Buffett's harsh warning about the housing market. As someone who is known for spotting economic trends early, Buffett has pointed out a storm that is about to happen because of the record low interest rates and the $1.4 trillion in debt that have driven up property prices to unimaginable levels. This is not just a market adjustment. It is a prediction of a big change that could affect a lot of people. For years, the real estate market has thrived on cheap debt thanks to interest rates hovering near 0%. This environment encouraged borrowing on a massive scale, inflating real estate values beyond sustainable levels. Rates on mortgages are currently more than twice as high as they were in the years 2020 and 2021. 
In light of this, there has been no change in the activity level of the housing market. Currently, the demand for mortgages is at the lowest level in 20 years, and sales of existing homes are at their lowest level since the foreclosure crisis that occurred around 2010. We are living in times when the economy is uncertain. The amount of debt that people owe, mostly on mortgages, credit cards, and student loans, has recently gone over $17 trillion. With inflation stubbornly above the Federal Reserve's 2% target rate and a potential recession on the horizon for 2024, the question arises, could the housing market be on the verge of a crash? The Federal Reserve Bank of Dallas identified signs of a brewing U.S. housing bubble in a 2022 report. But it is important to know that sudden jumps in home prices do not always mean there is a bubble. Other things like changes in disposable income, the cost and availability of credit, supply problems, and rising costs of labor and building materials can also cause real house prices to keep going up. If people think that the strong price increases seen so far will continue, they may expect future price increases to be even stronger. This can make the market lose touch with reality. Today's market differs significantly from the 2008 housing crash. Lending standards have tightened, reducing the likelihood of defaults. Most borrowers now have fixed-rate mortgages, shielding them from that payment shock that contributed to the 2008 crisis. Furthermore, homeowners today are more equity-rich compared to the pre-crisis period, providing a buffer against downturns. Despite these differences, warning signs suggest 2024 could remain a challenging year for the housing market. High mortgage rates, inflated home values, and scarce inventory could dampen market activity. The Federal Reserve's efforts to control inflation by raising interest rates have already slowed the housing market, and any further hikes could intensify the situation. Experts at Forbes Advisor think there will be a correction rather than a crash. Home prices are not likely to drop sharply, but high mortgage rates, high home values, and a lack of inventory all point to being careful. The future of the real estate market will depend on a lot of different economic factors, such as the policies of the Federal Reserve, the rate of inflation, and the health of the economy as a whole. As we move through these uncertain times, Buffett's warning serves as a reminder to keep up with the real estate market and be ready for any changes that might happen for the housing market and, more importantly, for you. See this picture? On one side is the silver tsunami, which is a wave of homes that are about to go on the market because baby boomers are getting old. This could mean a lot more for sale signs popping up in neighborhoods across the country. On the other side, we've got Warren Buffett's warning about the real estate market being on shaky ground, thanks to a mountain of debt and the end of those super low interest rates we've gotten used to. So, what happens when these two forces collide? First up, you might think a bunch of homes hitting the market would make it easier for buyers, right? More homes to choose from and maybe even some deals to be had. But as we have discussed earlier, if interest rates keep climbing, borrowing money to buy a house is going to cost more. That means even if there are more homes available, the cost of getting a mortgage could eat into any savings from a lower home price. Now, let's talk numbers. Imagine you're looking to buy a home and find the one you love for $300,000. With today's interest rates, your monthly mortgage payment might be more than it would have been a couple of years ago when rates were at rock bottom. This isn't just hypothetical. According to the Mortgage Bankers Association, mortgage applications have hit a 22-year low because people are feeling the pinch of higher rates. But it's not all doom and gloom. This shift could also open up opportunities, especially if you're in a position to buy without needing a huge mortgage. And for sellers, those who've built up a lot of equity in their homes might find this a good time to downsize or cash out, especially before any potential market corrections. Investors should also be paying close attention. With the market in flux, there could be opportunities to pick up properties at a good price, especially in areas where the silver tsunami might lead to an oversupply of homes. But as always, it's essential to do your homework and consider how changes in interest rates could affect your return on investment. In simple terms, we're at a crossroads. The silver tsunami and economic warnings suggest we could see significant shifts in the housing market. So what's the game plan here? First and foremost, it's essential to keep a cool head and not get swept up in the panic. The real estate market has its ups and downs, but with a solid strategy, you can get through these turbulent times. 
here's what you should consider doing. Stay informed. Knowledge is your best friend in times of uncertainty. Keep an eye on the latest real estate trends, interest rate movements, and economic forecasts. This doesn't mean obsessing over every little fluctuation, but having a good understanding of the broader trends can help you make more informed decisions. Diversify your investments. If you've got your heart set on investing in real estate, think about spreading your bets. Instead of pouring all of your resources into one property or market, consider different types of real estate investments or look into markets that might not be directly affected by the silver tsunami. For example, places with a younger population or cities with industries that are growing might be better for stability or growth. Explore market growth. When we talk about growth, some areas are set to do very well even though the market as a whole is having problems. Research cities with strong job markets, population growth, and infrastructure development. These factors can drive demand for housing and make a more resilient investment. For first-time home buyers, if you're looking to buy your first home, this period could present unique opportunities. Yes, higher interest rates might make borrowing more expensive, but an increase in housing supply could also mean more options and less competition. But make sure you have enough money saved up before you jump in. This means having a solid down payment saved up, ensuring your credit score is in good shape, and getting pre-approved for a mortgage so you know what you can afford. Financial Preparation Start by setting a budget and sticking to it. Use online calculators to figure out how much home you can afford based on your income, debt, and current interest rates. Also, consider saving for a larger down payment to reduce your monthly mortgage payments and potentially secure better loan terms. Seek professional advice. Finally, don't be afraid to consult with a real estate agent or financial advisor. They can provide personalized advice based on your financial situation and goals. A good professional can help you weigh the pros and cons of buying now versus waiting and guide you through the home buying process. To wrap up, the silver tsunami and Warren Buffett's warnings are not to be taken lightly. But with the right preparation and strategy, you can handle this storm successfully. So, what steps are you taking to deal with potential shifts in the real estate market? Are you considering buying, selling, or investing in light of the silver tsunami and economic forecasts? Share your strategies and thoughts in the comments below. Let's learn from each other and prepare for what's ahead together. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more insights. Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's keep this conversation going. Until next time, stay smart, stay safe, and keep investing wisely.